¡Hola caracoles! Y bienvenidos a Spring Spanish. Yo soy Cory, I am Cory, and I am one of the Spanish teachers here at Spring Spanish. And today we are going to talk about different Spanish accents. ¡Comenzamos! Spanish language began to spread throughout the American continent, except for uh, United States and Brazil, more than 500 years ago. And, same as in English, Spanish is spoken in many countries alrededor del mundo, around the world, which means there is a lot of different accents. Before I go further, we publish five weekly Spanish lessons on our YouTube channel. So, make sure to click the subscribe button so you won't miss any of them. Mexico is so large that people from the north has a completely different accent from the people from the south. ¿Verdad, Paulissima? Isabel Cori, efectivamente, en la península de Yucatán, la gente habla con este acento but I don't do it very well. In the Yucatan Peninsula, people speak with this accent, but I don't do it very well. But anyway, Isabel Cody. Stay until the end of the video so you can tell me which accent was the easiest for you to follow and which was the hardest one. Acento Venezolano, Venezuelan accent. The variety of accents not only exist in Mexico, Latin America is also rich in them. And you have probably noticed it already, but Juan, one of the Spanish teachers here at the Spring Spanish, has a lovely cadence when speaking. And I've seen some comments in the comment section asking him where he is from. ¿Lo has adivinado? Have you guessed it already? Acento. No vale, Cory, qué cuento de acento. Si nosotros en Venezuela hablamos en neutro, chico. No, hombre. Capaz los gochos o los maracuchos. Uno que otro cifrino que habla mandibuleado. Pero de pana, de pana, que en Venezuela el acento es neutro. Ok, so, now you've heard the native accents of some of my colleagues. But for this video, we're going to make it more interesting and each one of us is going to play, play a different accent. So don't forget to tell me in the comments who did it best. <laughs> Acento argentino y uruguayo. Argentinian and Uruguayan accent. Muchos de mis amigos extranjeros, many of my foreign friends, have asked me why Argentinians sound so different to the rest of Latin America? And for that, let's hear Mariana! Hola, Cori, ¿cómo estás? Decime, ¿cómo te va en la pandemia? La verdad que acá en Argentina la gente ya está re loca. Yo ya estoy desesperada, la verdad. Pero allá, ¿cómo van las cosas en México? Contame. Vos estás bien, estás en casa, con tu familia. Bueno, oye, ¿cuándo podemos tener una llamadita? A mí, yo la verdad prefiero los sábados por la tarde. Bueno, me contas. Besito. Chao. ¿Has notado su manera de pronunciar la Y y la doble L? Have you noticed the way she pronounces the Y and double L? Well, this is called yeísmo. And it's when instead of saying caballo or horse, it's pronounced caballo. This is more common in regions such as Argentina and Uruguay. Also, did you notice that instead of Tú or you, she said vos. Well, this is called voceo, and I won't lecture you about it, but it has to do with the way that people spoke to each other in that social context when the Spanish language was exported to Latin America 
with the arrival of the conquerors from Spain. And in some regions it stayed like that, but Paulissima has a video about it. Acento Español Spanish accent Ahora vayamos al otro lado del charco. Now let's go to the other side of the pond, straight to Spain. Hola tía, ¿qué te has ido? Has desaparecido y nada, que nos tenéis a todos con el Jesús en la boca. Es un mollón de tiempo que no estás aquí. Tía, ¿pero no sabéis qué gusto me ha recibido tu llamada? Pues te cuento que me he ido de rumba y pues nada, se me han pasado las cañas y por eso han dado un poco perdidilla. Nada, pensaba que te había sido de peregrinación al camino de Santiago, pero me alegra saber que estás rumbeando. <risa> que ese viajecito me mola. Desde que me habéis dicho que Santiago está chulo, he quedado flipando. Vale, gracias que me has cogido el teléfono esta vez. A ver si la próxima te pillo antes de que te vayas de viaje. Jolín. Hombre, de verdad, qué guay que me hayas llamado. Te mando un beso, guapa. Espero verte pronto. Vale, guapi, un beso, un beso. Chao, chao, bye, bye. Y bien, ¿qué opinas? What do you think? I think it's funny how even our voice tone changes. Here, probably you heard how we pronounce C and Z or the and theta as a TH. There is a legend that says that el ceceo or el ceceo was originated because of a problem of speech that a king of Spain had. Pero no es verdad. El ceteo didn't mysteriously get lost somewhere on his way to America. As a matter of fact, it never got here. And it all has to do with the fact that back then, in Spain there were two different accents. One in Madrid that used el ceteo and another one in Sevilla or Seville. Now, Seville was the place where all the conquerors will go and come to the new world. So I think it has to do with that and also with the fact that it was easier from a point of view when educating the indigenous people from Mexico. So they wouldn't get confused with the languages like we do sometimes. <laughs> Acentos caribeños, Caribbean accents. Nowadays, there is a lot of Spanish going around the world thanks to el reggaeton. But oh my, Puerto Ricanos or Puerto Ricans seem to have a fight with the letter R since they tend to replace that letter with the letter L. Oye, me Cori, pero ¿cómo es eso que tenemos un problema con la eje? Si en Puerto Rico todo el mundo pronuncia como debe ser. Al igual que todos mis hermanos que andan bregando con el jeguetón por todo el mundo. And of course, this also has a name. And it's called lambdacismo. A phonetic phenomenon that consists in replacing the last R of the word with the letter L. This is common in Cuba, Puerto Rico y República Dominicana. Cuba, Puerto Rico, and Dominican Republic, among other islands, of course. Muy bien! ¿Notaste la diferencia de acentos? Did you notice the different accents? ¿Cuál es tu favorito? Which one is your favorite? And which spring Spanish teacher did it best? I know it was me, but just let me know in the comments. <laughs> Te reto a que imites todos los acentos I dare you to imitate each one of these accents. Feel free to check out the other videos of me and the other Spring Spanish teachers on our channel. We also have a free, more in-depth Spanish training on our website where you will discover the method that we use in our Spring Spanish Academy to have you speak in Spanish Super rápido, super fast. You also get some free sample Spanish lessons there that come straight from our academy. If you are interested, just click in the link in the description below. And that was all for today. I hope you had fun. I certainly did. Y gracias totales. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and share the video with your friends.